Now let us take a final quiz covering all that we have discussed during this entire session. <clears throat> One, rent due for the month of March will appear dash of the cash book. A will appear on the receipt side of the cash book. B on the payment side. C as a contra entry. D nowhere in the cash book. Rent due for the month of March will appear in the journal proper. It will not appear anywhere in the cash book. So the correct answer is nowhere. D. Outstanding salary is a, a real account, B personal account, C representative personal account, D nominal account. Outstanding salary is a representative personal account representing the account of the employee to whom salary is due. So correct answer is C. Next. Unexpired expense is a real account, nominal account, personal account or representative personal account. <clears throat> Unexpired expense. This is an expense for which money has been paid but the entire services have not yet been rendered. You can carry forward. So this unexpired expense is also a representative personal account. <clears throat> Next, in petty cash book, the system followed is accrual system, impress system, cash system, none of these. Petty cash, we normally follow the impressed system, impress system. <clears throat> Double entry in cash book itself is completed when salaries a salaries are paid by check b withdrawal of money from bank for personal use c deposited cash into bank d none of these double entry in cash book itself is completed when when do we have a double entry in the cash book when there is a transaction involving cash and bank so it should be c deposited cash into back. Next, purchase of second-hand computer on credit by a cloth merchant will be recorded in A journal, B cash book, C purchase book, D none of those. Purchase of a second-hand computer on credit. Your entry is computer account debit to the creditor for computer. So this would be recorded in the journal proper, in the journal proper. Correct answer, A. Next, recovery of bad debts written off previously will be credited to debtor's account, adjusted again provision for doubtful debts, debited to debtor's account or credited to profit and loss account. Bad debts recovered. It's an income. It goes to the profit and loss account. Be credited to profit and loss account. Journal and subsidiary books in which transactions and events are first recorded are known as A. Secondary books B. Memorandum books C. Primary books D. Principal books Transactions are first recorded. These are called first recorded primary books. Correct answer should be option C, primary books. Next, if two or more transactions of the same nature are journalized together, it is known as a compound journal entry, B, separate journal entry, C, posting or none of the above. Compound journal entry. When two or more transactions of the same nature are journalized together. So you have two or more debits and one credit or two or more credits and one debit. We can call it a compound journal entry. 
<clears throat> narration is given along with journal entry a to signify the impact of entry on profitability b to disclose the profit or loss of the transaction c to give a precise explanation for proper understanding of the entry to secretly understand the inner meaning of the entries correct answer should be c to give a precise explanation for proper understanding of the entry a opened an account with 5000 on 3rd december he deposited 1000 on 7th december he withdrew 2000 on 15th december and deposited a check of 10000 on 20th december what is the balance on 31st december while we can prepare a ledger we can also do it mathematically he opened he had 5000 he deposited he had 1000 he withdrew 2000 2000 is minus he deposited another 10000 what is the balance this is 16000 minus 2000 we should have 14000 correct answer should be 14000 credit balance of ledger is a revenue or an asset a revenue or a liability c an expense or an asset d an expense or a liability credit balance is normally what is credit balance usually it is a liability or an income so it's a revenue or a liability revenue is the same as an income <clears throat> an asset an expense or an asset is with respect to a debit balance so in this case the correct answer is b from the following information ascertain the closing balance of debtors opening balance of debtors 32600 total sales 103000 cash collected from debtors 70000 sales return 1500 Discount on purchases one thousand two hundred, cash sales forty three thousand, and bad debts seven hundred. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to find out the closing balance of debtors. In order to get the closing balance of debtors, we need to have prepare a debtors account. Just put debit credit. amount in particular column opening balance of debtors there will always be a debit balance so to balance brought down is 32600 total sales is 1,3000 total sales is 1,3000 cash sales is 43000 so we are talking of 60000 credit sales 60000 credit sales what is the entry test credit sales debtors account debit two sales two sales we have 60000 cash sales it does not come in the debtors account so that is removed so this is taken care of this is taken care of cash collected from debtors so cash account debit to debtors so i write by cash how much 70000 sales return what we sold there is a return on that therefore what will be the entry there is a sales return for sales it's debtors to sales sale return will be sale return account debit to debtors so by sale return how much is this 1500 discount on purchases will not affect the debtors at all so we ignore this not required cash sales we already considered bad debts entry would be bad debts to debtors by bad debts 700 now we need to balance this account to find out the closing balance of debtors ninety two six hundred is the total so twenty 
2400 should be the right answer. 2400 should be the right answer. Goods costing 5000 given to a worker towards wages 5000. Market price of goods is 6000. Journal entry will be wages debit 6000 to sales 6000. B. Wages account debit to purchases 5000. C. Wages account debit 5000 to cash 5000 and none of the above. When goods are given, first and foremost, purchases is credited because goods were bought as purchases in order to sell. When we are not in a position to sell, remove them from purchases. So an entry for this is wages account debit to purchases 5000. Which option is that? Wages account debit to purchases option B. Correct answer option B. Next. Methods of preparation of trial balance are A. Balance method B. Total method C. Total and balance method D. All of these. We have three methods, balance method, total method, total and balance method. So your correct answer is, which of the following is not a process in the preparation of trial balance? Recording, summarizing, classifying, interpretation. A recording, B summarizing, C classifying, D interpretation. Not a process in the preparation of trial balance. We first record, then we classify, then we summarize in a trial balance. Interpretation is not a part of the process. So the correct answer should be D. Which of the following will not affect the agreement of trial balance? A. An amount of purchase of 10,000 recorded in creditor's account as 1,000. B. Customer account debited with the amount of cash received. An entry of debit 1000 was credited with twice the amount. An entry posted twice in the ledger, which will not affect the agreement of trial balance. The correct answer should be D. An amount of purchase of 10,000 recorded in creditors is 1,000. Creditors will be 1,000, but purchase would be 10,000. It will not tally. Customer account debited with the amount of cash received. Cash account debit, customer's account has to be credited. Instead, we've debited it, it will not tally. Trial balance will not tally. An entry of debit 1,000 is credited with twice the amount. So there is an entry debit of 1000 but we go and credit and that too with twice the amount trial balance will not agree but if you've posted the entry twice in the ledger assuming you've posted on both sides and the correct answer the agreement of trial balance will not be disturbed next which of the following is not a subsidiary book a sales book B. Purchases book, C. Cash book, D. BR book. These are all subsidiary books. A cash book is a cash account, represents a cash account, bank account. Therefore, cash book is actually a part of the principal book of accounts and therefore to that extent not a subsidiary book, cash book. Cash book, mind you, I repeat, is a book of original entry because transactions are first recorded there. But it is also in effect a cash account and a bank account. Therefore, it is a ledger. 